High school football fans, I'd like to welcome you to the fourth round of the playoffs. Tonight we saw two all local matchups that were rematches from the regular season, starting with Dripping Springs and Vandergrift. Back in August, the Tigers used a last second field goal to beat the Vipers by three. Since then, Vandergrift has turned into a team full of superheroes. And that week one loss was definitely their origin story. The Vipers won 12 straight entering tonight, but the Tigers safety Landon Ricard said we don't care about those 12 games. We're going to take this one just like I took that pass right out of the air. A pick on the second play from scrimmage led to a dripping touchdown. But how about this? The vision, the cutback, and even a little skip to my loo over the goal line right there. Alex Witt brought Vandergriff within three. Then just before halftime, Hayden Arnold pulled out the boot. And if you're kicking one for 50, that's got to be a size 17 steel-toed heavy-duty work boot. The kick tied it at halftime. Then with about a minute left in the game and down by three, dripping needed a fourth and goal conversion. The Vipers stuffed them. Vandergriff completes its revenge. The superhero showdown continues. They win this game 27 to 24. All I knew was we had to get that stop and get a great push on the D-line, and we did it. And all linebackers foot the gaps, and that was history. I mean, it means a lot. It means a lot. This, this team really, really wanted to get further than we've ever been, and we felt like we could do it. And it was just, it's just nice to actually achieve one of the goals that we set. We set this goal in January, and it's fun to achieve it. Liberty Hill played Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. And one thing about that slot T offense that the Panthers run, well, it's going to break a few big ones every game. Just like this, Ben Carter says, I've been here. A 49-yard run was his 26th touchdown of the season. The Panthers are on to the state semis for the third year in a row. Final score tonight, 63-43. to Wimberley beat Lago Vista by just three points earlier this season. And unlike Speed 2, this sequel was just as good as the original. The guy with the ball has the best name in town. That's True Couch. And he's no lazy boy. Wimberley went up 14 zip in the first, but the Vikings fought back. Bowen Staub to Baron Cowden. It was a three point game in the fourth quarter, but that Wimberley offense was just too much. The Texans stay undefeated. We'll see if they have two more wins and a big trophy in their future. They win this one 49 to 30. Granger tried to get some payback on the team that beat them in the playoffs last season, Burton. Check out the kick return from Lions all-star DJ McClendon. An amazing play, but not quite enough. A great season for Granger comes to a close. The local guys fall 27 to 7.